Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully designed our admin change password page. Now in this video, I want to update it. And also I want to load some of the validation. Uh, let's do this work for doing this. That is our um, admin change password. And here that is also one of the form you can see now we have to do have to update this form like here we don't need this NC type multi platform data if you want to remove it you can actually remove it okay rather than you can also take it that is totally fine so right now I want to do I want to create another new one new route as a admin uh, password update or update okay update password and now this type of the route I want to create let's create it and that will be one of the post method if you now go to our web route into the web route better I want to copy it and after that I want to paste it okay here I simply paste it now if you go particular this page okay here if you go that is our will be our admin update password I copy it and now if you go there and I want to make it as an admin update password admin update and then the password I want to clear on the new method as an admin update password update password okay update password now this step one of the method I want to create in our admin controller now go to that our admin controller here after that I want to create another new one that will be the public function and admin password okay great and that will be obviously one of the post method and now here when we pass that post method we have to pass that as a request and then the dollar request great so here first of all i want to do i want to add some of the validation but i put some of the note for you that will be for the validation validation okay validation will be which one here i have already get that our request so requested then i want to call that a lot of default on the function now as a validate so that will be as a validate okay i want to call that validate and into the validate area here right now there is a two field right i have name it if you go I name it as a old password okay so now that will be the old password and old password I want to do I want to make it as a required okay required so that will be as a required okay that means that will be needed and also I want to take another one another one I name our field name as a new password so that will be as a new password new password also should be as a required so I make it as a required and also that will be matched with our confirmation. So that will be as a confirmed. Okay. Confirmed. Confirmed. Great. So that is our validation. I simply take that things in here. Okay. So that is will be our first part. And into the second part area we have to do. We have to match our old password. Because right now I am already logged in. Right before I have already logging as an admin and password was 111. So here, the, whatever the old password you will be added, that should be matched in our user table. That is, I have already logging with the admin, right? So I have already logging with the admin and into the admin, that is one of the password. So that should be matched. So if you want to match it, and also you can see that is on the hash password. So here, now I want to add another validation, but I put another note that will be as a match. Okay, match at the old password. Great. Sorry, that will be the password. Great. So now here I want to do and to put on the if condition. If that will be the not hash. Okay, not hash. And first of all, I want to do and to check it by the check function. It will be check our which things. It will be check our requested field. Requested our which field. Requested our that is the field right so that is a field name as a old password and also if you go here i name that our field name as a old password so that is the requested field i simply take it it should be matched with our which one our authenticated password that means which user is logging so that is our auth authenticated and now with this authenticated i want to done to access that our user okay authenticated user authenticated user which field that means which user is logging locking user our field name as a password right so that means that is the, our old password field should be match our logging user password field so that is our authenticated user password field i want to done to access our field name as a password so that is our password okay friend i hope it's very very much clear to you great so when that will be not match okay when that will be the not match then that will be display some of the notification message that i have already loaded our toaster you can display it by the toaster message better i copy it 
and after that i want to do and to paste it okay so that is our notification notification will be display as a old okay old sorry old password password does not okay does um d-o-e-s right d-o-e-s does not match match so this type of one of the message it should be display and that will be one of the arrow types alert type that is also another type i have discussed about that things with you there is the different type as the info type success type warning type or the error type i want to done to access that our error so now that will be as a arrow type okay and it will be written redirect um, to the back page so here we don't need to pass that redirect you can also only pass that uh, back page okay it will be written to our back page with the notification great great so that is our second part okay so the second validation and after that i want to do i want to add another validation that will be for the update that means when that will be successfully update then that will be displays another notification but i put another note as the update the new password okay so that always update new password and for the update new password will be which one that is our user table area here i want to do and to pass it as a where okay where id where id will be which one that will be our authenticated that means authenticated and then the user okay authenticated user authenticated user id so that is our authenticated user id will be update okay here then that will be as update so that will be updated function okay it will be updated and our which field our field name as a password so our password field will be updated okay and when that will be update that means whatever the things you will be passed from to this area okay here when that will be update then and that will be also when it should be in, in stored in our password field it should be as a hash password that means we have to do we have to make it as a hash make password so then we have to do as a hash it will be make it as a hash make okay hash make a hash make will be our which password that will be our request requested field name which requested field that will be our this one right so that is our new password so that is a field name i name it as a new password okay so that is our new password great when it should be get store our new password in our database password area and then that will be return another notification better i copy it and after that that will be display another notification as a password change right so i make it as a password password change successfully okay successfully great and this type will be not arrow type it will be the success type great so that's all that's all you have to do okay friends so now one by one i want to check all that are validation let's check this out if you now click as a save all okay if everything okay that should be work and also i want to better run our php addition optimize now let's check this out if you refresh it first of all i want to check that our validation our old password new password is required right now click as a save changes Mm, you can see it's now successfully get our validations that is the default validation here i have already updated two of this part here you can see it's now display our old password messages and that is display our this message that, that is laudable default message and also our input field you can see that is also updated with the red mark it because of all here in our um, form control i have also show this error as a invalid okay is invalid so that is the reason it's also now successfully working great that means right now our first um, our validation is successfully working and i also want to check it our new password and confirm password is successfully match or not here i put some of the password i push another um, new password and confirm another new password so that is not match now click as a save changes Mm, you can see it's also successfully get our another validation the new password field confirmation does not match okay great that means our both of these validation is successfully working okay that is required and also that will be matched with our confirm password now i want to do i want to check our 
uh, old password okay like i want to do i want to add right now i'm already logging with the admin and for the existing admin password was 111 so right now here i put different type of in invalid password a new password i make it as you do me one two three four five and you do me one two three four five so now that should be display or which error that should be display another error as the old password does not match right now let's check this out click on the save changes uh oh i understand <laughs> i didn't add that hash not found it because of all here i have also used it as a hash you can see here we have to do have to also load that hash so that is our hash hash will be if you go uh, that will be in our add auth into the auth if you go to that register you can see that is actually our hash from the illuminate support facet so now from here i want to load that hash okay so make that sure you load it i have also loaded the round user model now that should be work okay that should be work now let's check this out if you know click as a save all and now i want to go back i want to refresh it and now i put inappropriate old password and now i want to put that udemy one two three four five udemy one two three four five so our old password is not matched with our existing one now that should be display another error message hmm, you can see that is display as a old password does not match that means our second validation is also successfully working right that means this part is also successfully working and now when everything will be done it should be display as a password change successfully now let's check this out if you now uh, again want to check it like i want to check it as a 111 right now that is an appropriate old password and new password i make it as you do me one two three four five and you do me one two three four five okay now let's check it out click on the save changes yes you can see it's now display as a password change successfully that means our this condition is also successfully working now let's check this out it's successfully working or not now click as a logout now i'm successfully log out and here if you now add that admin before i have used it as one 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 now click as a enter Mm, you can see it's not working but if you i have already changed it as a you do me one two three four five now logged in mm, i'm successfully logged in okay great that means our change password is also now successfully working okay and also here one things i want to share with you here i have used one of the group route right that is a group middleware why i'm actually using everything in our admin area it because of all without logging if you want to actually access it like i show you like that is actually one of the url so this url only will be able to access which user is authenticated and also which user role as an admin rather than he will be not able to access it like i show you if you now go to that logout okay i want to go to that logout like i want to log in with the vendor like if you go to here again in our logging page uh, sorry that will be as a slash logging okay here i want to log in with the user or agent and as end, I want to put that as in password 111 now logged in right now I'm logging with the agent right here if you now want to access that change password now that should be not work now click say enter yes you can see you are not able to access it okay it will be written redirect to you to the dashboard page I hope you get that point that is the reason I have actually added everything with our group middleware okay so it should be actually check both of these things but if you logging with the admin then you can actually able to access it okay if you go to that admin logging and that is our admin and you do me one two three four five now logged in and after that logging if you want to access it then you can able to access it great great so friend here also we successfully done this job so in our next video i want to discuss about uh, another things so like here that is all that are essential things whatever the things i have done if you want to actually now back up your total site okay how to take some of the backup from to the local site that means from your local host and also how can restore that things in your local host from to the backup in our next video i will show you that things with the live example because a lot of students actually ask me about it so for the reasons i want to create another video for this so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video